Hello everybody, this is Choking Giant, here to bring you another gameplay of Modern Warfare 3. In this match I went 52 and 19. And this stage is called Arcading. Now what you want to do is, is head to the right side where the robo path is. And uh, keep running. Head down the stairs and then this could be a hallway leading to C. The first enemy will always come out of there so you're going to be always getting the first blood of the game. So this is the easiest path like to kill somebody first or like to take out somebody that's heading to the B flag after this uh, starting point and it's also the second route for this and uh, in, from the beginning you head down to the left side where the where it says Dark Arcaden and uh, you can easily run through down there to the fountain is where the fountain is and uh, just head down to the two doors and then you're gonna see the hallway and you just shoot it from the from the side and you're gonna be able to get the first blood all the time there's no fell into that so um, in this game I went uh, 56 and 19 and uh, it was a pretty good game you know I was I wasn't expecting this much because uh, you know everybody's in a tight place and uh, every, everybody's responding real quick but uh, I managed to, to like uh, get this many kills and the weapon I was the weapon that I was using uh, was the there was the p90 and uh, I the attachment that it has uh, is range and um, and suppressor, so it'll be easy to sneak around them. And uh, my uh, perks are sleight of hand pro, and assassin pro, and and uh, stalker pro. So I mean, it's very it's very useful to use all these uh, perks because um, I mean, when you point it out your gun, you're gonna be moving faster and and there's no way to stop, and it's pretty good uh, to use. And uh, assassin, I mean, you're undetectable all the time. And once you get the pro, I mean, they won't be able to see you with advanced UAV or with the uh, with the uh, um, heartbeat sensors or portable radar, thermal, something stuff like that. They won't be able to see you at all. So you're they're completely invisible, except to terrorists and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's pretty useful. I mean, I've been getting some complaints about some people saying that why are you using uh, too much assassin pro. I mean, it's a game. It's part of the game, man. When I use Assassin Pro, I'll use it whenever I want, and um, it's been working pretty well. I mean, this is what I wanted to use, like in uh, Black Ops. It's called Ghost, and uh, the part the I never got the Ghost Pro on, uh, on Black Ops, but um, it also said like it was, it was like I watched all the videos and said uh, like it was the it was like a being invisible the whole time, and I get it in a Marvel for three, and yeah, you're completely invisible because you're not detectable in the the radar up in the left corner so yeah it, give me a lot, it gives me a lot of chances like to kill somebody and with plus silencer I mean <laughs> you're completely invisible just kidding around people you're like a ninja and uh, it's pretty good it's, it works pretty well I would suggest to put it, put it like this which is Assassin Pro, Slide of Hand Pro and um, Stalker Pro so it will be like a complete different game you're gonna be a sneaky bastard <laughs> Yeah, well, um, but after you know the enemy only has C, they're gonna be spawning up in the in the corner, the, like straight down from the A flag from this place. They're gonna be always be spawning over there, or by the other corner, which is outside. So yeah, you can uh, I already know all the spawning points to this game, and in, in domination I know them all, and uh, I'll just go over there and uh, hopefully find him in the big ball. I uh, just spray around my gun, which makes it a lot, a lot easier to get killed. So I know all the spawning points. Plus, I'm using Assassin Pro and all that. It makes me like a. Uh, I'm always gonna end up in number one in the lobby, no matter what. So I suggest to use all these perks to be completely undetectable 24/7. So now I'll bring you to the to the question of the day. How many times have you ever? Kill somebody with a damn flash bomb, cause I haven't killed anybody with damn flash bombs. Um, cause I, the reason I stopped using flash bombs is because um, I never, I always throw them to them, but they still managed to kill me. So it was like completely useless to me. I mean, they're flash, but they somehow find me, even though I'm hidden. And they'll sometimes like spray the gun. I know that, and I'll, I'll drop or I'll just move away from the, from the shooting ways. But somehow the freaking leg starts and. Um, they kill me so I stopped using it because it was getting more getting me killed all the time so I just uh, I, I needed something something extra like to 
instead of uh, flash and stun because I know stun they can still they can still see you and um, and move slowly but they can still kill you and portable radar came to my mind because I needed something that um, can detect the enemy real quick so and sometimes people don't even call kill streaks and I'm the only one calling kill streaks 24/7 and you know your teamers don't cooperate and nobody has a spy plane so I need to carry a portable radar the whole time so I can have my little radar going on and know where everybody is and that's the easiest way like to detect somebody and that's, a, um, and that's the biggest reason I carry it around because nobody calls in the UAV when I need, need it the most so yeah so the reason I carry a Semtex is because um, the frag grenade has really gone like um, bad it doesn't kill anybody no more like in a it doesn't have like it's not really effective so like in black ops in black ops I will always get the the first blood <laughs> like all the time you can ask my friend like a rock and uh, have him in my PSN and uh, he will always like be laughing because I, I promised him like every every time before the match I'll say I'm gonna get first blood first blood first blood and now I'll always get it he'll be like ah oh, this guy <laughs> he'll be like surprised and stuff so yeah, I was really good with the frag grenade, and but uh, I, after like testing it out in the first couple of weeks of the game, it started to suck, and uh, it wasn't really effective. It didn't do like a big, uh, big explosion like in Black Ops. So I just moved to Centex, and uh, and it's, the Centex is pretty good. Cause it doesn't roll around and it doesn't take long to explode, and and it's that's what uh and the stages are like pretty small nowadays, and they're not as big like before. Which is good, so so yeah, I moved to Semtex because this this one roll around and explodes pr pretty early and when I need it the most. So yeah, I'll just throw a random Semtex. I don't know you all seen my Semtex compilation of or random throws, and it will show you how effectively it works. So now moving on to um, to the clan, how it is. Uh, it's been rolling pretty good. It hasn't been doing any changes in uh, this day. Uh, still 60, 60 members. You know, you want to join and play by my side, I'll be on. Just in, just uh, message Reverend Lovejoy. And I'll, I'll just send me a message first with my PSN saying that you want to join the clan. And uh, I'll send you back a message what's his name. And, but you got to be a premium member, though. Uh, you got to be a, a person who, like, completely paid 50 bucks and stuff like that and to join so you can give us some, like, clan experience. Once you give us clan experience, that means you're good. You stay in the clan forever, and until you want to leave or not. We're uh, like uh, we have great players in the team, so you want to message them too, like to play with them, or you can message them too, and just message me first saying that you want to join the clan, and I'll send you a message of the owner's name, and and I uh, and I'll let them know that uh, you're assigned you, and but you, you gotta be a premium member, so sorry if you now you gotta pay all the fifty bucks and stuff like that, and. So you can join because if you're not a premium premium member, you cannot uh, you cannot join. Sorry, and um, but yeah, we're gonna be hopefully we soon we'll be achieving the six hours of double XP and and of double weapon XP. So yeah. Well, yeah, another kill right here. Random Semtex. I got nothing. Well, hopefully you all see my Semtex compilation in my other channel, Madden Station. And it'll be working on too, because my dark brother Dark Raven is still working on the on the car. I mean, it was supposed to be meant for me and Dark Raven, but uh, it's taking a while, cause uh, you know the car and uh, situations like that. Like he has to fix the papers and everything. So yeah, we'll get it working soon, guys. So be patient. And here's the final kill, quick scoper. I must so much I hate him, but good thing he was on my team. The final score is 52-19. Highest one off the leaderboards. Well, this is all for now. Thank you for your view. And uh, make sure you subscribe and visit the website. Thank you.